Hello, and in this video, I'm going to show you what I believe is the top tech tools to build a online learning platform for the K-12 environment. First and foremost, um, this is one of two videos. Uh, the first video, I'm just going to show you the technology. The second video, I'm going to show you the usage. What are the teachers doing with these tools that makes a difference? Um, and and so in this video we're just going to go over the technology the second video the usage so this is uh, first and foremost uh, we built our platform using Moodle and this is our login screen we are using Moodle with the Fortson theme and so when you log in this is our home page um, you'll notice that uh, we have a couple of little sliders here um, so this is our our home page and what I wanted to point out is um, we have a couple of things in here this is the Fortson theme and we have the easy enrollment plugin now what does this do this is a custom built we built it um, it allows Moodle to behave uh, for enrolling kind of like Google Classroom each class each group within those classes gets a unique six digit code and if you were to paste one in here and this if the student was to click enroll they are instantly taken into the class where does the teacher get these enrollment codes well we made it real easy with the Fortson theme in Moodle up at the top you'll notice that we have course management which has all of the tools that the teacher needs to manage their course their question banks um, badges everything that the teacher would need to do is right here and to the left of that are the enrollment codes we put them right right front and center and you can see that is the digits the six digit code that I typed in on the front end and here it is right now now the other neat thing about this plugin is if you're working with small children you might want to utilize this QR code you'll notice right here there's a little button and you can click that and it'll download a QR code let me demonstrate what the QR code does when you're back on the home page you could have all your students with their Chromebooks all sitting they can all log into the, your Moodle instance and if they click this button it activates the web camera so once you activate the web camera the teacher can walk around with a little piece of paper with the QR code and they simply wave it in front of the camera and that will enroll the student as well you saw how easy that is imagine if you had all the Chromebooks lined up and you just had to walk around and enroll your students it does two things one it puts the teacher in control of who can get into the class because you're not sharing enrollment codes or anything like that and um, it provides uh, an ease of use for younger kids who might have a hard time doing that um, and in the second video we'll even show that we have kids as young as young fives using this system um, so that's a little bit of Moodle as the platform we also see the need for uh, portfolios and we utilize Mahara which is fully integrated with Moodle and when the students are logged into Moodle they can click on this ePortfolio button right down here and they are taken to our portfolio system using Mahara um, I'll just kind of show you uh, a page that was created by one of our tech coaches this is the tech coach year in review you can see uh, even adults need to have reflection on their uh, skills what they've done for the year um, what they're working on where they need to improve so this is not just for students it's for staff um, it is a awesome resource to have when you want to provide blogging reflection uh, curation of top works that all happens right here in Mahara and it's fully integrated with with Moodle so 
when you're in the Moodle course, for instance, I'll show you one of our demo sites. Um, right here, we have an assignment that you can add where basically this requires that the student submits a portfolio page. And you can see right here, um, I've submitted this one. The teacher can quickly view it. Again, this is just for an example. But if when the student is here, they can come in and they can go and, and pick whichever um, portfolio page they want to submit. So this could be something that they were working on. And when they submit it, the teacher can then view it and grade it. There's a lot of uh, integration here between Moodle and Mahara, and that's why we uh, believe that the Moodle and Mahara provides the, one of the best um, setups for the learning platform. Now, a couple of other tools. Sometimes you need to have communication. and when it comes to communication, there is no better solution for Moodle than Big Blue Button. And right here, you can see I've added this into a course. And you can pick which group you want. It'll generate a unique uh, room for each group so that only, you know, certain groups can talk with each other. But um, we won't dive too much into that. I'm just going to click join session and up pops our big blue button. And you can see here, you can share a webcam. Okay, so there's that. You have um, chatting over on the right hand side. Um, you have a whiteboard where you can come in and color, work with students. Um, it has two-way whiteboard, so you can allow the student to interact on this whiteboard as well uh, for two-way discussions. You can upload presentations, allow the student to download them when you're done. Lots of functionality now into uh, built into Big Blue Button. You can change the um, the layouts. So if you wanted to do a video chat layout, maybe you want to do just a webcam meeting. Um, you know, you can do a presentation meeting where the presentation is the most important. You can also have this new feature called shared notes so that while the, the teacher is uh, talking, the students can be taking shared notes, which can then be downloaded as plain text uh, right to the student's desktop. How cool is that? Again, that is Big Blue Button. And so we're going to end this meeting and hop back on over. OK. Um, so that is Big Blue Button. And I want to show you another plugin that uh, is awesome. And it's called the H5P plugin. It's an HTML5 Swiss Army knife of learning, meaning that it has probably 30, 40 different activities you can do with the students from memory games to interactive timelines, interactive videos where you can start, stop, make the kids answer questions, um, all kinds of things. Let's just take a look at one quick timeline over the Revolutionary War. You can see um, you get some facts, you get a video from YouTube, and the student can go cycle through and see all of the different elements right on a visual timeline. You can go full screen. Okay, it's it's all responsive, fully. Um, if you had to have a, a small browser, you can see how it just automatically resizes itself. This is an awesome, awesome plugin. I'm going to jump back in. I'm going to show you one other thing here. They also have, like for younger students in K5, memory games. So you can kind of go through and look at uh, different uh, I 
All right, I'm focusing on trying to beat the memory game. There we are. Good work. 15 seconds, 12 card turns, okay? Um, so this can be used for uh, vocab words, things like that. Um, the nice thing about H5P is it's shareable. So you can download this, share it with your friends, your teachers, um, and it's, it's a fun way to engage the students. So that's H5P. Now, the last and final step is what really um, helps our teachers. And that is we've integrated Moodle with the um, MyStar for Michigan, uh, the MyStar uh, student information system. Um, however, Moodle is known to be fully integrated with uh, PowerSchool and some of the other uh, big student information systems. Um, but for our teachers, they can click on grades, they can go to the export, and they will see the MyStar interchange. And they can go in and pick their tracks and kind of go through, pick their hour, and then they can map the items that they want to send over to the gradebook. You don't have to send over everything. And you have to first create it in the, the student information system, and then you simply send the grades to that item. So if you wanted to uh, send this, this uh, Moodle item right here over to MyStar, you could do so. You click that, you scroll down to the bottom, and you click transfer and it will send those grades over to that item and match them up with the students. It takes a lot of work to make this stuff happen. All the integrations, all of the um, making it easier to use for the teacher, it takes a little bit of setup. But in our next video, we're going to show you what the teachers are doing with this tool now that it's set up, now that it's built, and some of the great things that are happening. Um, and and the, the beauty of all of this is we own it. We, we can operate this and we've been operating this for uh, over 10 years. And so how many other districts can say that they've stuck with a, a LMS or a tool for 10 years? The, the research is out there. I mean, it's going to take three to five years just to get staff using the tool at a level that goes beyond the surface level. So beyond the, oh, look at how neat this is, to get into the heart of, of learning and, and using the tools in depth, we know it takes time. You have to really develop the skills and, and have the teachers be comfortable with the tool. And you can't do that if you're switching LMSs every three to five years. So, um, Moodle is open source. We've we've been able to enhance it to make it do what we need it to do, and uh, we are very happy with this uh, K twelve open source learning platform that we've created here. And so I just wanted to share some of this technical stuff with you. In the next video, we will share um, some of how our teachers and students are using this. Thanks for watching.